Welcome back for another installment in my project series. In this video, you're going to see me take this to this to this. So stay tuned. So I'm starting off using Total Boats, Total Protect, Epoxy Barrier, and Primer. This is a two-part epoxy barrier coat and primer uh, that works great for this application. Uh, also helps against blistering uh, in fiberglass gel coat. And it'll put a nice waterproof seal on the whole boat. My initial coat has uh, also got a 10% thinner. Uh, this is an epoxy barrier thinner uh, from Total Boat as well. And I wanted to thin the coat out, allow it to fill in everywhere, get a base adhesion on the boat. And then when I come back with the second coat, I'm gonna do a thick coat uh, without the thinner. So that way it helps fill in everywhere and it'll settle down and level itself out. starting the top coat this is also from total boat it is their wet edge top side paint i did it in black now i don't have a second video for the uh, top side paint but i did do a second coat as well Just like the primer, this also had its own thinner. This is a, brush, a special brushing thinner from Total Boat. And I used, uh, I 
it's about 10 to 15 percent thinner uh, just to help help it to flow as it cured So far, the paint top coat is now dry. It is not perfect, which is fine because it's gonna have the clear coat actually sprayed on it. So that will help create that smooth level surface. But otherwise it came out really nice. I've already taped off the sides so I can do my custom job on the bottom with the metal flake. Here I'm going over with a flash coat, covering the bottom real quick, and then I'll come back to a full coat. This is the KBS Diamond Finish Clear Coat that I'm using. The thinner that I used for this is the KBS Number One Thinner. It's what's suggested to work with the Diamond Finish Clear Coat. And I did run it a little high uh, just to make sure it flowed real good with the metal flake that I'm getting ready to shoot. Right here, I'm dropping the pressure down from about 35 for the clear coat spray down to around a bar to half a bar for the metal flake gun, which I'm using right now. I did go over this two more times. I'm using a lime green metal flake in this, a real heavy coat. So I wanted to get a dry flake gun for this. And right here, I'm simply taking a blow gun and trying to nudge the metal flake to lay flat into the clear coat. So I got the nice heavy clear coat on there and the four ounces of lime green metal flake ended up going on in three layers. So there is three layers of metal flake on here. I'm gonna wait for it to dry enough to do the sanding on it. Get it all smoothed out. And then after that, I'll get the plastic taken off and we'll get the sides and bottom uh, properly coated with the clear coat. Nice, properly thick coats. Really seal everything in.
the boat has had a little time to dry and cure up. I'm getting ready to start the wet sanding for the uh, cutting and then I'll polish her up as well. Try and really bring out that shine. Here's a look at it post sanding. I went over it with a 1500 grit to blend it in and then a 3000 grit to smooth those scratches out, make it easier on the buffing compound. This is how she looks right now. I'm getting ready to start buffing. So I have the keel guard installed now. Uh, I got a five foot lime green keel guard to go with the lime metal flake. Uh, these are pretty easy to put on for the most part. Uh, you place it where you want it uh, and then uh, you know, tape it down, mark off all your lines, tape it off. Uh, it gives you a scuff pad to scuff it down and then a primer to put on uh, and then you just lay, line this right back up exactly where you wanted it. Uh, Peel the backing off and start laying it down. This is pressure sensitive. Do make sure to go over this several, several times to make sure uh, everything is nice and tight down. That way it doesn't peel off while you're going down the lake. Get the new bow eye installed. The rear eyes are put in but I don't have the nuts and the backing plate installed yet uh, I did make sure to have silicone underneath this plate and it's sealed all the way around So I did a light sanding on the surface uh, just to get rid of any of the crud and stuff from being upside down and the paint job from the bottom. Uh, I got her washed off. She's drying right now. We'll then get her taped up and ready for paint for the top. So far I've got the outside draped. I've got these stabilizers right here. Uh, just to hold up on each side uh, and I mean this thing does not move so it'll make it a lot easier getting in and out to do the inside parts I also have the panels that go on the back uh, I've already sanded these down and they are wiped down and ready uh, all they're going to get is a top coat and then I'll spray it with clear coat just to help protect it and make it look better. So I just finished putting on the second coat of the primer barrier uh, across the whole thing. All grayed out. Next step after it dries some is to go with the black paint. 
So I'm gonna start getting her black here shortly. I now have the black all finished. Got two coats of it down across the top. Moving all the way back to the motor well. Next step in the morning, I'm gonna pull out the spray gun, get the clear coat done on everything, let her dry for a while, and the painting is done. So we are about one to two hours in to dry time post clear coat application. Everything looks like it's drying pretty nice. I'm happy with it. Still got to do a cut and polish. And she will be ready for rebuild. Now, as I had said before, I still got to do the cut and polish. Uh, I'm gonna leave that out of the video though. But stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I'm gonna start getting this thing assembled. I'm also uh, redoing the trailer as well. So, if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you aren't a subscriber make sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos now here's a quick look back as well over my process of preparing this boat so till next time